Off his ass, moving like a fucking zombie. My little bitch, you too demonic. Bad as fuck, like Pocahontas. Ass fat, Pokeyani. My little shorty, call the body. We come through, shoot up the party. Y'all gon' make me stab somebody. My little shorty with the shit. We ride around, we keep sticks. My little shorty, stand up. Ooh, hit his face, we finished him. Oh, first guy said, my little shorty, stand up. We hit his face, we finished him. Okay. Long live, it's take your scrap, man. Yeah. Do you feel like if, I don't know, there was a, there was one article where one guy just didn't say he was going to give, because he had like 40 some, he's not going to give it to his kid at all. He had 40 some what? Like 40 million type shit. Shit. Like 40 million, but like if he dies, he's not getting any of it. Why? He ain't getting Because nothing. it's like. What they, the son do in life? Because nah. they want him to do his own shit and acquire that money. Honestly. If you got, if my parents got 40 million, uh, this is what people got to speak realistically. Because everybody look at it like, oh yeah, they people rich. So I get it. I'm supposed to get it. No, if my people rich, let me come up with something. Let me, let me come up with my own brand. Maybe it's clothes. No matter what it is, it's mine. And I came up with it. And it's, and it, even if it's something smart where they can invest in, you got to think about it. His pops just Got forty something million. You think they ain't gonna invest in, in your idea if it's worth investing in into? Like, are you talking about like if he's got a business idea, they yeah. invest into it? And it's worth investing into it. And they got forty some million dollars. You think they not gonna do it? Right there, if it's just the okay, let well, me see. What they're talking about like when he passes and shit, like. Ah, uh, when he dies, shit about time. His pops probably flight shit by time I die. You should already have what I got plus some. Uh, ain't no telling what his daddy already gave him. Cause yeah. you gotta think about it. Coming up, if your people know rich, all males had a lash out moments. My people know rich. Ain't no telling. He probably went to jail. A type of crazy. Shit. But that don't mean your people don't cut you off though. Mm -hmm. But shit, nigga. Is it my people that got 40 million? I know I got something coming. I gotta scribe for it too though. I ain't gonna sit on my ass and wait on and wait on you to die for that. Hell no, nah, by the time you die, I wanna at least have two, three million that I I done made on my own. And I'd already paid you what you gave me. That's me. You wanna put your kids through like college? I'm gonna put my kids through college. You see it? I got a high school diploma. Shit, I don't know. I got three kids right now. I got a high school diploma. I got three kids. Shit, out them three, I want at least one of them to bring me a degree out that out out that sh out the bunch of them, bro. What's like the highest you want? I don't even care what it is. Just some degree. As long as I can say shit, they got they they want farther than I want. That's the real. That's the real key. Shit, my child did better than me. Yeah, I took, uh, I took, uh, what's it called? I got, like, five classes left before I get my associates. And I was like, nah, fuck that. And now here I am. You creating your own lane. Exactly, I just There's a lot of money into what you're shit. Doing. Subscribe to Local Hitmakers if you're not already. Make sure you tune in. More butter videos. Hella shit. We still Actually, got more questions though. Me. What's your favorite weed strain? My favorite weed strain. Damn. You wanna know what? It's so crazy because I knew he was gonna ask for this. See, real life, I like to smoke runs. But in my world, because you know I got crazy little world, I like smoking OD. I don't, I don't like smoking too many ops. I don't, I'm not into that shit because that shit bad for your health. That shit really bad for the lungs. Why people playing crazy? You hit me. You be smoking them dead people. Them dead people make me get to seeing people. I don't fuck scrap but then they homies pop up and pop that medulla. What's your second? Peanut butter breath. Oh, peanut butter breath? Peanut butter breath. Nah, oh, man. You see what I'm saying? That, sh that shit hit there. 
my dad. When somebody mentions Italian beef and Pepsi, does it piss you off? Like, what's your take on that? Honestly, I hold all men accountable of their own actions. So you gotta understand, I'm a grown man. So you gotta understand, if you call me Italian beef and Pepsi, you gotta understand what's gonna mm -hmm. come to Canada. I mean, the choice is totally up to you. I'm first grade, I can't even make the choice for nobody. So I'm gonna say no comment. It's up to you to make that choice. Bro. It's up to you to see what's gonna happen behind me. Not you. Oh my boy. I'm about to say, bro, I'm just, <laughs> here just asking the questions. I mean, it just pops up a lot, bro. It that's do. like, that's the thing. It do. But it, it's going to take a bold fan to see me out in public and say, oh, tiny beef for pot. You know? Choice is totally up to you. Decision is yours. Let's see. Uh... What's your advice for like upcoming artists? Either in Chicago or kind of like, I said, yeah, in Chicago. Upcoming artists is in Chicago. I feel like if you're an upcoming artist in Chicago and you're not in tour with nobody, keep it that way. You know what I'm saying? Music is music, you do music. You know, you ain't gotta diss no dead people to do music. You ain't gotta be in tour with nobody to do music. So if you're an artist from Chicago, and you not a gang affiliate, even if you is a gang affiliate, but y'all gang, y'all who ain't deep. Leave it at that. Maintain, stay in your own lane, create a lane, because a lot of stuff will throw you off as an artist in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Rather if it's the streets, or if it come with the industry, with the music industry, being, it, being an artist, that'll throw you off. Getting into it, your engineers, camera crews, shit like that, it, it throws artists out. So, if you're an artist in Chicago, maintain your your career. Hold hold tight up. Don't don't let it slip out your hand because it's easy to, to be lost in this sauce out here in the city as a as an artist because I can rap it, I could go over here and somebody could not like me for no reason. I never see nothing to them, never met them. They just don't like you. And that happens. You ain't gotta be tough, you ain't gotta stick around. Go, leave. Cause you can, nine times out of 10, you got something better than do anyway. Right, if you go sit in your own crib and get hot, you got something better than do. Do it. Because the streets, that's all over. It ain't just Chicago, it's all over. The streets will suck you in and take you away. It'll take you away from your dream, it'll take you away from your family. Right, if you dead or in jail, you know what I'm saying. So if you're an artist, just be an artist. Feel like it eats you alive, type shit. For sure.